Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Vime. Today I'm going to show you how to fix some of the issues that you're probably having on the Dolphin emulator for Xbox. So first, this should help problems such as you're getting a black screen on the emulator or your games directory isn't being saved to the one you set for your USB. Usually this is the case when permissions aren't allowed correctly onto the drive. This will make it so that Dolphin cannot change or add new files to your configuration. So for this, I'm going to have this link in the description. If you're on a Windows computer, please download the second option for the USB version 1. Point three point. If you're on an ARM device, you can download the top one, but I'm on Windows, so I'm going to download the bottom one. Once you do that, just make sure to extract the files, and you should get a folder called Xbox Media USB. Now, what we're going to do is open up this folder. You should have these three things inside. Xbox Media USB, a configuration file, and a languages folder. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click on the Xbox Media USB. Now that we clicked on this, I will be plugging in my drive to show you an example. Mine is the E drive. So remember this, when you plug it in your folder, remember which drive your USB or your hard drive is that you're going to use for the Xbox. Please, it's very important. You don't want to get this wrong because you can mess up your computer. All right, so for this, now that we know that ours is on the E drive, this is a brand new drive. Let me show you. Go to the properties, brand new free space brand new drive nothing's in it all right so what we're gonna do go to the xbox media usb all right now that we're on this app if you guys already formatted to ntfs and you already have your games your bios and everything onto your usb and you're scared of losing everything don't worry at the bottom it says only add permissions on drive files will not be deleted so please if you already did your formatting and you have everything on your drive all you got to do is at the bottom click on it Click on which one your drive is. Mine is the E drive. Make sure to click the correct drive. And then all you got to do is click add permissions to selected drive. And just like that is now prepared for your Xbox. You're done. That's it. Go have fun. All right. But if you guys didn't do that already, what you can do is on the top, it says select removable USB device. We're going to select the E drive and then we'll go click on start. Now for this, it's going to ask me if I want it to be erased, but this is a brand new drive, so it really doesn't matter. So I'm going to click on yes. And as it's formatting your drive, just give it a minute. All right, and then once that finishes, it's going to ask you if you want to create the games, BIOS, and RetroArch folder on your new drive. I recommend just doing this anyway, because you're probably going to want to set up most of your configurations to your USB. So we're going to click on yes. And just like that, that's finished. We're going to go down here. We're going to look at our drive. We're going to make sure that it is, that it did put the RetroArch files into it. So now we have a BIOS folder, a games folder, and it also makes all the game console folders so that it's organized. So that's pretty cool. And then also, you can also your RetroArch folder for this that you can add all your saves, your system, your states, your shaders. There's a lot of stuff you can add to RetroArch. But that's about it. If this helped your issue, please hit that like and follow for more. Comment if you need any help. All right, y'all. Hope you enjoyed. Catch y'all later. Peace out.